Hey guys, Michael Patel here. We're inside the ECX scooter shop, and uh, my scooter is not doing too good. So we're going to be doing a little video of me fixing it up. Uh, my time spent at Ohio Dreams Action Sports Camp, I ended up cracking my deck a little bit more. It already had a crack for a while, but um, it's definitely, definitely about to break and I prefer to change it out before before having any serious fall with that. And then my forks bent, I bent them back, then they bent again, so they're definitely not in good shape. It's kind of rubbing on the wheel, and uh, it's definitely time to, uh, to freshen it up. So I recently just got a whole bunch of decks. The deck that I ride is actually made by Havoc Scooters. They don't really have a whole lot of different products, and this one they actually stopped making. He actually gave me a call to let me know that he found a box of the Artemis deck. So I actually have a bunch of those right now. Uh, he, he sent me an email after he called me and he was like, hey, I got, you know, seven blue decks and seven polished decks. And I just ride black, I'll take them. And uh, so I got them all in stock. It's the last of the Artemis decks. So if you want this deck that I ride, I have them on a crazy sale right now on shopycx.com. You can pick up this deck right now for $80. That's only until I kind of run out. Um, I'm setting some of them aside for myself. That's the main reason that I got them in. But if you want a nice, inexpensive, high quality deck, definitely check it out. Um, one of the reasons that I love this deck is that it has a really nice amount of nose blunt room due to the long and mellow down tube. Uh, what this does as well is it gives the deck like a larger wheelbase, um, which I'm gonna make another video soon kind of explaining a bunch of different parts, one of which is gonna be about decks. Um, but basically, the larger your wheelbase, it kind of gives you more room on top. So there's the length of your deck and there's your wheelbase. So my deck is only 21 inches long, but my deck has a really large wheelbase. So what that does is it takes my bars from being like up close with me and it gets my bars further away, it gives me more room on top of my scooter. It shifts my weight a little bit more forward as far as how the scooter is. And uh, I just like the feel of that. So if that sounds like something you might like, Definitely check it out, pick one up before they're gone. Other than that, let's go ahead and get right into this build. So I got all the old parts all disassembled, got my pegs, I'm going to reuse those. The forks are pretty done, um, but I got my bars, the old deck, um, my HIC kit, I'm going to use a lot of my hardware stuff. The wheels, I think I am going to end up just getting some new wheels just since I'm getting so much other stuff fresh. So let's go ahead and pick out all the parts that I'm getting. Alright, so definitely doing the Artemis deck, of course. And then definitely Urban Art Forks. Um, the reason I like these is they work really nice with the Artemis deck, which I've been running the Artemis deck for a couple years now. So definitely going with that. Uh, bars, I already got my bars. And I'm running the District Rope Grips on my setup already. I recently did that. Wheels. Uh... Gonna go with the Urban Art wheels. And then what else do I need? Ah, oh, bearings. Yeah. 
So last time, I went with the gold deck pins. But uh, this time I'm going with a little bit more blue. So I'm going to put uh, some blue pins on my deck rather than the gold. So we just built up the scooter. Pretty soon I'll probably get some clips posted up on my Instagram with it and probably some photos. So for sure check those out. We'll keep coming back for more videos. Thank you guys for watching.